All right, hello everyone. Now we're on to Katsuye's story in Samurai Warriors 2. I am the Devil Shibata. Very appropriate title. Welcome. What do we need from the shop? Take your time. What you turn into? Wow, a very lucky weapon. Not that that's helpful. I guess I'll use one of those, too. Alright, on to Battle of Okihazuma. Imagawa is here. His army numbers 40,000. Our lord has made his wishes clear. We must go forth. We can't do it. Why would we fight? They outnumber us 10 to 1. It's suicide. Has Lord Nobunaga even told you anything? If we're just going out there to get slaughtered, then... Remember who it is that you are! Toshiie, what kind of man are you? A warrior. A warrior does not question why. All that we should desire is death in battle. You're right as always, old man. We'll show them all why they call you the Devil Shibata. In the year 1560, Yoshimoto Imagawa, undisputed ruler of the Tokaido region, set out for the capital with a large army in tow. On his way, he had to cross the territory of the Oda. Seeing this as an opportunity, Yoshimoto ordered its annexation. Katsuie Shibata, a senior officer of the Oda army, hurried to stop this invasion, accompanied by his protege, the young Toshiie Maida. Facing an army over ten times the size of their own, the Oda looked certain to be defeated. Despite this, Katsuie decided to make a brave stand at Okahazama in an effort to keep the Oda name alive. Today, we will prove that my lord is this land's only hope. Chapter 1, Battle of Okahazama. I will decide when this age is at an end. Okay, so we already have a stage where we can get a fourth weapon. Uh, swiftly complete the missions and defeat many enemies, which translates to... Within 10 minutes, succeed in the plan to ambush Yoshimoto and defeat 400 enemies. Okay. I can probably do that. Although... Katsuya is kind of really good. Yeah, what weapon do I go with? Uh, here, let's get lucky. If Suge is really good, I'm probably not going to need a fourth weapon for him. Certainly not on, like, the first stage. Oh, yeah, fuck this guy. This guy stole three kills from me in the last stage. Uh, let's see. I guess Matsu is kind of appropriate. I 
I suppose I could intentionally ruin this stage just to see how it plays out when you, you know, just charge forward. Although it's probably going to be very disappointing. It's just going to be Nobunaga saying, alright, well that didn't work. Charge. And yeah, I didn't realize I played uh, three devil characters back to back. Devil Shimazu, Devil Shibata, Devil Hanzo. Back broken. Which is just how we want them when we hit them with an ambush from the north. But against such a huge army, we just end up on the wrong end of a counterattack. Which is why we have to pick off their front lines before we strike. If we weaken their units attacking the garrisons, they'll be forced to provide back from their main force. If you say so. But how are we going to spring an ambush from a cliff anyway? There's no way to get an ambush unit down there. Just leave that to me. You worry about picking off their vanguard units. Yeah, right. especially if we charge, we miss out on a lot of dialogue. Too excited. If you get ahead of yourself, they'll smell a rat. Didn't I already defeat you? The way is clear before us. Motonobu Okabe is quaking. Man, Katsuya's like horse charge one sends him flying into the air. I think like a Full two seconds to hit the ground. Save your interminable lectures for when I'm not around, monkey. And if we take Narumi Castle, we'll be able to draw more numbers away from their main force. Do not poke the hornet's nest. If we attack Nakajima Garrison, our ambush will be ruined. Leave it. So I've kind of shown like all of Katsuya's moves just playing by this point, but uh, his charge one is really good. Like I think every swing or every at toss is able to break guards, so it's just a really solid combo. Wipe out the vermin attacking Washizu and Marune garrisons. Yoshimoto won't like it one bit to stop those garrisons from falling. And he'll probably be vain enough to send more troops to take them down. Just like we want. Toshihie! Hidetoshi needs assistance. Hurry to Washizu Garrison. Of course, my lord. Katsuhie! Deploy to Maruni Garrison. Morishige is in danger of losing it. I shall be your opponent. Right. Try not to cut off the, uh, all the talking that goes on this stage. <laughs> Thank you, Toshi here. His charge one is okay. And his charge two is also okay. His charge two also has a guard break attack with a headbutt. So that's really good for opening enemies up. Charge three has two quick clings and the shockwave is really good. And charge four is that grapple attack you've seen me do. Where he just picks someone up and breaks their back and tosses them aside. The, uh, what do you mean what the good part about Katsuge's moveset in general is that he's fast, he has good range, and he has pretty high attack. But there's something that makes him really broken. Uh, not that. That's his R1 square. Let's see if I can land that. Yeah, that just makes him do another grab attack, which I didn't realize how ridiculous that looked. Is he doing an Azuna drop? <laughs> well, what really makes him broken is R1 triangle. Which makes every single axe swing produce an explosion. It costs some Muso to use, but like, that's fine. It doesn't cost much. The explosions, I believe, make it where all of his attacks can break guards. It's just broken. Is that so? Another excuse for a warrior. You're even greater than I imagined. Is 
this all they are capable of? Let's kill the Yasu and Tadakatsu just for fun. Test your might on Mikawa's finest. The time is now. I will defeat you to realize my ambition. <laughs> This battle is not about eliminating a fool like what you know. This is a test. A test to see whether the land needs to know. You're essentially unstoppable with that boost. Why? Wake me up when it's time for me to march to glorious victory, will you? It even makes an explosion when you grab someone. Also, just the guttural yell he does when applying the buff. Come on, old man. Let's show the world how the devil Shibata's army fights. So you concentrate on the enemy in front of you. That is war. His Muso is pretty good as well. Did they come? Lord Nobunaga is a genius. With their main defenses so thin, our ambush will be easy as you like. Another excuse for a warrior. Just slams the ground and creates shockwaves, but unlike Yoshi, uh, Yoshihiro, Katsuya actually moves forward. There is no point so there's no risk of the enemy, like, getting outside of range of the shockwaves. Yoshimoto is blinded by his arrogance. A man who relies on numbers alone can never be Another excuse for a warrior. I am proud to witness you in battle. Another excuse for a warrior. Hmm. An exceptional warrior. Alright, I think these officers will just respawn, won't they? So not much reason to defeat them right now, but well I'm here. I like how the explosions even trigger like when you're on the horse. An exceptional warrior. Look out! Here I come! Look out! Here I come! I kind of forgot about that grab attack that he has. I think he loses it in later games. Still got it. Another excuse for a warrior. It appears you are some use to me. I can kind of see why, because it feels like it doesn't really fit the rest of his move set. As always. I found this little guy. He knows this place like the back of his hand. Come, sirs. Follow me if you please. Another excuse for a What about his dash attack? I am uh, it's okay. Just a horizontal swing. I owe you one. I was reluctant to fight until you explained Lord Nobunaga's plan to me. Well, I believe in communication. It's the way of the future. The strong, silent type of their day. What's that meant to me? Are you talking about Katsuhie? Toshie? I'm on my way up in the world. If you want, I can take you with me. Hey, Yoshi, this is Okay Hazuma. I think you're jumping the gun right now. It's like the start of the story. Service. Sort of everything. Today, Owari welcomes a new lord. Come, comrades, fight.
wait for the Imagawa, and you won't regret it. That is apparently just a trap raiders. Is this all they are capable of? I wonder if Hanzo will still show up. I already got rid of Iyasu. Those that step yep. before me can expect certain death. So, you have smelled out our little ambush, have you? I expected nothing less from you. He didn't even get to play his intro cutscene. Weird intro animation. You fiend! Have you no regard for my standing? Do you wish to spit in the face of the traditions that have made us who we are? Precisely. Look out! Here I come! Nobunaga's just like, yeah. Another excuse for a warrior. That's some very pretty work you're doing out there. Yoshimoto. Can you not see that history has decided your fate? Are you suggesting that I leave? Another excuse for a warrior. Hmm. An exceptional warrior. Must stay strong. Really going out of my way to kill this one officer over here, but may as well. That was too slow for the weapon, huh? Oh well. Yoshimoto, you're all mine. Do not underestimate me. I did not become a leader through Kimari alone. Sign that the heavens too desire your demise. The day will come when karma will find you. Interaction is so awkward. You will suffer a miserable death. I cannot wait. Yoshimoto's death means ruin for the Imagawa. Fickle are the fates that govern our age. This day will eventually come for us all. My pride has seen me through. Oh, bidding Ieyasu cost me the weapon. Oh well.
Are we flashbacking to a battle we just did? What an awkward place to include this cutscene. Skipping all the Azai stuff entirely. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Wow. This is a really cool cutscene either way, so... Love how he grabs a guy and just tosses him aside after slashing him. And when you use black ink, you can be as bloody as you want. Implication is Yoshimoto's inside that thing, but like... We killed him outside of it, so... Whatever. I've had a vision... Our victory at Okehizama introduced the land to the name of Nobunaga. Though I am still just one of many who seek domination. However, this land was born through might. It runs on might, and only the greatest might shall be able to overcome it. That is why we must take the land by force, pure and unadulterated. That is what the land desires, and that is what I desire as well. Hideyoshi! My lord! Ieyasu! My lord! Mitsuhide! My lord! Katsuie! My lord! Tadakatsu! My lord! We will spread my name to all corners of Japan. We will strike down the Takeda at Nagashino and seize victory! All units, get ready! We will punish, ridicule, and destroy the Takeda where they stand! It is actually one of my, like, favorite cutscenes in the game, and yes, I do think it's extremely well choreographed. Katsuie Shibata and the Oda Army overcame the odds and defeated Yoshimoto Imagawa. This battle dramatically separated the fates of the two armies. The Imagawa were ruined, while the name of Nobunaga Oda became feared throughout the land. However, the threats facing the Oda were far from eliminated. Shingen Takeda's son, Katsuyori, was building a powerful force to the north, and conflict was becoming unavoidable. Nobunaga decided to make a preemptive strike and dispatched an army to Nagashino. If the Oda could overcome the mighty Takeda cavalry, it would be a giant step forward on the road to total domination. The age of the warrior hangs in the balance. Chapter 2, Battle of Nagashino. I will decide when this age is at an end. I imagine this is going to play out exactly the same as Nobunaga's version. Maybe Katsuie will have a few lines. But yeah, we will occasionally hear like his old voice actor in this. Like we heard it uh, during that cutscene when you said my lord. Here at Nagashino. I predict the end of the old world. Watch, and I shall prove it to all of you. Fire! Go, advance! Strike them between rounds when they're forced to reload! 
feel the demon king's embrace. I be your opponent. Do not disappoint me. Another excuse for a warrior. Splendid. I shall endeavor to accomplish the same. Another Explosions are so damn good. Supposed to be invincible. What's going on? Is that your plan? <laughs> Alternate your rounds. Fire as the man beside you reloads. Reload as he fires. Don't kill him yet. I want to see if he says anything. I am Yukimura Sanara. Stand down or be slain. Their rifles are no match for the Takeda cavalry. Spare me the demonstrations of ego and show me how you fight. Or do you not feel the same without the self introduction? Katsuya just calling him out. Splendid. I shall endeavor to accomplish the same. Another excuse for a warrior. It appears you are some use to me. Look into the main camp and see if Katsuya has anything to say yes, to Nobunaga. That should do it. Cease fire. Oh, oh Nobunaga's charging. On the talk the main camp. Oh, are just attacking the guys who. Wow, this random group of peons somehow made it into the Oda main you camp. No choice. Retreat. Yes, try to run. It will do you no good. Forward! We shall put an end to the Takeda once and for all. I stood by him for a while. Hopefully something will trigger if it would have triggered at all. Shall endeavor to accomplish the same. I shall be your opponent. Guys at the top and bottom weren't getting around. Another excuse for a It appears you are some use to me. Let's see. Condition, defeat all enemy officers. So yeah, let's just go ahead and take out Gatsuroi. He is alarmingly close to the escape point. Hanzo might appear if I were to, like, go a little bit further back. We are at a disadvantage. There he is. Katsuyori, here is where your flesh shall rot. will not get their hands on Lord Katsuyori. Literally have my hands on him right now. I never lose. Another excuse for a warrior. You have done your duty well. Mitsuhide went down. Nobufusa is kicking ass. Now to dig up their roots. My experience. You couldn't have come at a better time. To my reinforcements. Another excuse for a warrior. Hmm. An exceptional warrior. 
<laughs> Nobufusa, holy shit. But if that is the case, let us die with glory, like true warriors. Look out! Here I come! Fucking Nobufusa took down several generics, Mitsuhide and Hideyoshi now. Another excuse. Nayahide apparently died of... Ligma. Than you look. <sighs> I can't believe I made that joke. I couldn't think of anything better, I'm sorry. Well, I, I did think of like, something better initially. I was just going to say cancer, but then I thought that might be insensitive. So I refrained from saying it and defaulted to something even worse in my eyes. You are some use to me. To his credit, that's the wrong horse. To his credit, Nobufusa was in hyper mode. One of the biggest lines I've seen in the game. Like three text lines. That's, that's exceedingly rare, and it came from Yukimura of all people. You slippery son of a bitch. There, back broken. Oh, that didn't kill him. I want to kill him with a grab, but he's, he's not having it. Use a true miso on me, you dick. I will grab you. You're not dying any other way. This will work, damn it. Damn it, I thought I really had him there. Alright, just follow me. Ah! <laughs> he still technically died to a grab. I'm not proud to turn my back. I, I didn't even know that I could damage someone without grabbing them. Is the age of the warrior destined to die? It died long ago. This is but an empty shell. The lives of many warriors have been lost. The Takeda cavalry were once feared across the land. Now, their time is over. My pride has seen me through. So Katsuye had that stage to say, I think, like five lines in total? Maybe six? Oh, we do have, uh, Azai stuff. Here we have Odani after Nagashino. 
Didn't Otani take place before Nagashino? I don't know. Whatever. The Oda army's victory at Nagashino had dealt a crushing blow to the Takeda and signaled the demise of the Age of the Warrior. Not wanting to waste this momentum, Nobunaga turned his attention to another of his enemies. This was the mighty house of the Asakura in Echizen, along with their sworn allies, the Azai, in whose ranks was Nobunaga's own brother-in-law, Nagamasa. The Oda army laid siege to Nagamasa's Odani castle. Among those in the party was Katsuie Shibata, who was eager to see Nagamasa's demise for his own reasons. Emotion has no place. This is an age of honor. Chapter 3. Siege of Odani Castle. I will decide when this age is at an end. Yeah, from chat's reaction, it seems like Odani is not supposed to take place after Nagashino, but it is this time. And Katsuge is starting in a different position than he normally would. I wonder if we'll hear his old voice actor mention the Kingo Ward. The Azai and Asakura are marching to their grave. Decimate them. Head straight for their main camp. I be your opponent. Look out! Here I come! My lady, she is trying to lead the way to hide her own feelings. Another excuse for a Or maybe she just actually wants to kill Magamasa, you don't know. Alright, this is our chance to shine. Thought of Lady Oichi. Think about her feelings. What good would that do? We're the ones that did this to Lady Oichi and Nagamasa. I can't help it if she hates us. The important thing is that it all comes to an end. Another excuse for a warrior. Like it sounds insincere, but he does have sort of a sound logic there. And yeah, we did hear his old voice actor. Nagamasa witnessed the downfall of his allies, the Asakura. Mega Boss would probably enjoy witnessing their downfall. These guys are massive assholes. Look out! Here I come! Katsuie, go to the monkey's aid. If you insist. stopping for like one guy okay rather simplest at deadlock Warrior. How do you expect me to work under these conditions? Help me! <laughs> Nobunaga just left the engineers. He was helping them. Brother, you shall go no farther. 
Another excuse for a warrior. I shall take note of your ability. Did you hear he just writes it down? Uh oh. This doesn't look so good. And after all those sacred proclamations of love, she needs a man of action. It is kind of a dick move for Nagamasa to ambush Oichi of all people. Until it's ready, I need you to keep the enemy at bay. Am I to be treated as nothing more than a servant to an ape? I shall be your opponent. Oh, Katsuie. I... Thank you, Katsuie. I shall be your opponent. That's a lot more heartfelt than her lines towards Nagamasa. What the, what exactly made them charge? Another excuse for a warrior. Hmm. An exceptional warrior. Another excuse. Oh, the engineers died. That's oh well. Okay. Please take care out there. Ha. This saves us the trouble of having to hunt them down. At least we're hearing different lines. I, I didn't know it I didn't know it mattered that the engineers could die after this. That actually isn't what I'm here for, Ranmaru, but I can't really risk it considering you're next to Nobunaga. Spare me the demonstrations of ego and show me how you fight. Another reuse his line for Ikimura there. And the battle is really dependent on that one strategy going off, isn't it? Kind of wish Toshiye was here. Yeah, you kind of just forget about Toshiye for a while there. Like, I think the idea is that he's supposed to be hanging out with Hideyoshi at this time, but like, Hideyoshi's been with us for every battle thus far. The Asakura are finished. And now... <laughs> Nothing happens. That's when the garrison is supposed to be broken through, but, you know, that kind of fell through. So him just saying, and now, and <laughs> nothing happens. I like to imagine he says that and just slowly walks away. Is this all they are capable of? Another excuse for a warrior. You are well versed in combat. Look out! Here I come! Another excuse for a warrior. I like how defeating that guy opened the garrison like a mile away from me. Katsuie ruined the stage by simping. It did kind of happen because I went off to save Oichi. Test your skill against my <laughs> to be fair, I didn't expect him to die in like... It wasn't even a minute I was down there helping her. And the engineers were just dead. Another excuse for a warrior. You are well versed in combat. Uh -oh. This doesn't look so good. Just your skill against my experience. Uh -oh. 
Another excuse. Well, I can enter the King Award now. Mm, an exceptional warrior. Are his gates still shut? Maybe you have to go in from the north. Or do I just get close? No, nope, so I can be turned around. I, th I seem to recall Nagamasa teleporting outside of the camp and charging Nobunaga. Maybe he doesn't do that if his army is already charging. are we doing morale wise? Everyone's morale is pretty damn low. These eyes are pretty high. Love how high that charge one on the horse sends him flying. Ah, there he goes. I will charge the main camp. I shall strike with the power of raging emotion. Wow, he's gonna charge straight through her. I kind of want to see if they'll say anything. I don't lose if Oichi dies, right? Nah. They are really making Katsuya out to seem like the better man here. Making a beeline straight for Oichi. <laughs> Giving him some time to reach her. Oh, did he just go past her? No, nah, he stopped. Actually, huh, interesting. They won't fight each other. He stopped on peons. Nagamasa Azai, Lord of Bizen, rises to battle. Though it pains me, I shall not waver from the path that I hold to be right. You lost sight of what was right long ago. All you can bring now is pain. Forgot of the lance, his attacks come out pretty damn quick. I guess they'll fight each other if they get close enough. Everyone's just cheering for Ranmaru when all he did was get 50 KOs. Now we're back to fighting the Takeda, I guess. Odani Castle had fallen, and the Azai and the Asakura were no more. Sensing his chance, Nobunaga set about consolidating his power throughout the land. After suppressing an insurrection at Osaka Bay, Toshiie Maida 
and Hideyoshi Hashiba were dispatched to the west to face the Mori. At the same time, Katsuie was sent to finish off the Takada resistance, which had survived under Katsuyori's leadership. This time, Katsuyori was prepared for the attack. Enlisting the aid of Masayuki Sanada, he lay in wait for them at Shinano. Even in the face of annihilation, they choose the path of the warrior. Chapter 4, Fall of the Takeda. I will decide when this age is at an end. The Hashiba army continues to claim victory, thanks in large part to the work of Lord Toshiie. Lord Hideyoshi boasts that the West will be under his control in three months. Katsuie, this is your boy we are talking of. Have you nothing at all to say? No, my lord. <sighs> there is one thing. Maybe the day approaches when I can show him. What is it that you wish to show him? I speak of the way in which a samurai must die. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what you wish to show him. And it's a shame Toshie, like, I guess, called in sick for Nagashino. But it's all pr plenty of samurai die then. Yeah, this stage is Wow, Kotaro is an ally. <laughs> this stage is generally uh, reserved for, I think, Nobunaga and No. But this time just gave it to Ketsu. Yeah, he just slapped on at the bottom here. And yeah, people have already mentioned we're going to be hearing Kanetsugu narrating the battle. It's, just, it's his thing. It's what he does. Once great Takeda have been reduced to hiding out in a tiny castle. You have my orders. Eliminate them all. Ueda Castle is naturally fortified. However, nature often has its own hidden paths. Under the banner of justice, the Uesugi clan will ally with Lord Masayuki Sanada. Together, we shall strike down Nobunaga, the mortal enemy of Lord Kenshin. <laughs> And how many times have the Tokugawa attacked the waiter? Like, I think they attack the waiter twice on their own and they're here for this battle as well. Anyone teach you to respect your elders? Look out! Here I come! Test your skill against my experience. Didn't anyone teach you to respect your elders? Forgive me. I am not worthy of such a teacher. Another excuse for a warrior. Here's your excuse Another excuse for a warrior. Splendid. I shall endeavor to accomplish the same. Forgive me. I am not worthy of such attention. The defenses of Ueda Castle are strong. I shall go open their gates from the front. 
My hatred is for the three traitors, Anayama, Kiso, and Oyamada. Lord Kenshi, punish their injustice from your place in heaven. Go, Kotaro, oh, is he dead by now? Bring glory to the Hojo. Now to make this battlefield <laughs> Castle gates are sealed. Cannot pass. <laughs> I underestimate the strength of Rueda. What? Why are there enemies here? Another excuse for a warrior. It appears you are of some use to me. No Hoping that gate will open for me. This attack on Rueda has sealed your fate. You now face the master strategist, Masayuki Sanada. You are no match for him. If the Takeda fall here, who is to say we Hojo will not be next? Men, our very survival is at stake. The Oda are the enemy now. Strike! Oh wow, they just fall on defect this time. Dishonor stains this battlefield. We are betrayed. I guess I have to go all the way around because the gate won't open to let me through the other way. Even though I defeated the officer guarding it. Which is rather annoying. Basically means all the allies on the left side just aren't doing anything. Two other traders are struggling right now. Although the one in the bottom right seems to be having the worst of it. Cornered by Nobunaga, Katsuyori had two choices: to seek aid from either Nobushige or Masayuki. Katsuyori made the right choice, for Nobushige had already betrayed him. I thank you for your help. Another excuse for a warrior. Splendid. I shall endeavor to accomplish the same. I shall be your opponent. Let the world know the strength of you, Esugi. Another excuse for a warrior. If you... <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess when you engage one of the Uesugi, they all decide to charge. Game, I would like to defeat the Hojo army. The gate is in the way, and defeating that guy apparently didn't open it up. God damn it. The stage and its locked gates sucks. Unlike their master, the Sanada troops are quite clever. Be on the lookout for a supply attack. Dawn breaks. <laughs> I'll come back for them. I shall be your opponent. Uh, I have to go all the way around, like really. I need help! Now! Anything to say to Nobunaga? Didn't figure. Play Sam my Warriors 3 next. Uh, no, I'm gonna be playing Warriors Origin 1 and 2 after this. I haven't fully decided yet if I'm even gonna play Sam my Warriors 3. Cause like, first of all, the, uh, the upscaler I have is just for PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1. I'd have to buy, like, a different one of those. And I'd have to hook up the Wii. And I'd have to play Sam my Warriors 1, a game I know I'm going to hate. Oh, wow! And the Hojo just die in every stage you fight them in, huh? Unless you're Yoshimoto. Another excuse for a warrior. And I think they forgot to give them, like, any item drops. 
Probably because, like, in the original version of this stage... Wow, the gate still didn't open. In the original version of this stage, they're, uh... Not supposed to defend. They're supposed to just leave. So they probably didn't have, like, any item drops set up for them beforehand. I just didn't realize that. Fire Emblem Warriors. Uh, I didn't really like it. There are way too many clones in that game. How do you like that, traitor? Your villainy will not hold up against me. Hyrule Warriors, maybe. That's both of them are still kind of grindy. Then we must first eliminate those without. Crush their sorry excuse for an army. As you command. Those without what? What are you talking about, Nobunaga? Another excuse for a warrior. Splendid. I shall You can really tell when they reuse lines from a different conversation. Because, like, that would that probably worked in the Japanese conversation for both. But once they translate that line into English, it just kind of falls apart. Because it was translated for that particular conversation and not this one. And there's really no way to predict that. You can't predict when the game itself is going to reuse lines. Bladesorm Nightmare worth playing. Uh, it's... Okay, I... I played it for a while, but I never finished it. I just got kind of bored of it. Like, after a while, the battles just feel too samey. Gee, that's nice to say about one of your longest and most loyal officers. Gates open? Yeah, they are. So I can enter through there. Cut down every living soul you find inside. You won't get away that easily. You underestimate me. Another excuse for a warrior. Well, I guess I should go back and deal with that, huh? I'm speechless. Who ambushed? Ginba, Mino, and Bichu. Is this all they are capable of? This battlefield really wants you to run around the whole damn map. Please, tell me what I may do to repay you.
excuse for a warrior. Hmm. You're stronger than you look. Another excuse for a warrior. Now to go all the way back to the other end of the map again. Uh, no, Tatakatsu does not have the stage. Any Tokugawa characters have this stage. Damn it. Uh, Tadakatsu does have an Ueda stage, but it's it's not this one. There are just like three different Uedas in this game. Fat ass sumos. I shall endeavor to accomplish the same. The gate ahead is sealed up tight. Really? This time when the gate is closed, you don't use the castle line when it's actually a castle? You use it for garrisons and everything else? Really, game? Hilarious if Yukimura dies from this. He really did stake his life on it. I will show you the true pride of the son of the name. So the world our warrior dies. Another excuse for a warrior. I love that if you have the buff applied, even his deadlock will trigger explosions. It's literally every attack. Try this again, asshole. There we go. I'm not proud to turn my back to the enemy. And yeah, I guess they did bring Yukimura's voice actor back for Extreme Legends, because he actually has new lines here. You could kind of tell, like... He said, like, two of his, like, rehashed lines, and then he said a unique one to Katsuye. And you could kind of, like, tell the difference then. Like, these two lines were very clearly not recorded on the same day. In this case, probably not in the same year. Masayuki Sanada is not in the main keep. Search harder! We must be up to something. You didn't expect victory. Oh yeah, you were here. Did you? 
Totoro, I've done your job for you. Your masters are dead. <laughs> what fools these mortals be. Stop. Let me get up. Damn it. Quit bullying me. I'm just an old man that wants to explode you. There we go. Chaos will still prevail where I have failed. The Hojo die, but Katara gets to live. It appears that your little ploy has failed, Masayuki. They have defeated my strategy. Very well. They shall never overcome my will. I will if your back is broken. Or if you get exploded, that'll do it too. So this is my end. Oh, Masayuki's dead. Wow. Another excuse for a warrior. Katsuye doesn't give a fuck about the timeline. Many brave warriors are lost. I got Master 2 in that battle. Wow. Now we're on to Shizugatake. Which, uh, hey, I guess this counts as a new one. June 1582. <laughs> <Temple> <laughs> Even Katsuhi, I guess this cutscene. Nobunaga Oda, betrayed by his retainer Mitsuhide Akechi, vanished forever in a sea of flame. After four stages, Sitoshi again. Yeah, he just sort of... Katsuya just neglects the hell out of him after that. After Okazuma. Nobunaga had eliminated the house of the Takeda, his triumph was to be short-lived. Betrayed by his retainer, Mitsuhide Akechi, he fell at Honoji. Engaged in battle with the Uesugi many miles away, Katsuye was unable to return in his lord's hour of need. Indeed, by the time he returned, Hideyoshi Hashiba had avenged Nobunaga's death by slaying Mitsuhide and had solidified his own power base. However, Katsuie had his own reasons for not wanting to serve Hideyoshi. As one final act of resistance, he decided to stand and fight. This will be my final chance to make him see the truth. Chapter 5, Battle of Shizukatake. The next age will be on his shoulders. Open up! Please! If you want me to choose between you and Hideyoshi, then I choose you! I'm a loyal man. I'll always be loyal to you! So please, let me in! Leave me. What are you talking about? We've always fought together. What's so different now? What's changed? Tell me! The era. When our great lord was turned against, it signaled the end of an era. And if history demands that my life must be forfeited as well, then so be it. Yoshi told me that I mustn't look away. I came here tonight because I wanted to. No one made me do it. I only worked under Hideyoshi because I wanted you to be proud of me. I wanted you to see that I was a warrior now. That's the reason why. I feel no different now. 
I don't care if an era has ended. I'm talking about me and about you. That's why. That's why even if I have to look away, I... Are you listening to me? Answer me, old man! Please, answer me now! Please. Has he left? Are you sure that's what you want? Uh. Was she Ie? Surely he... Don't make me repeat myself again! Apologies. Please, my lady, forgive me. I really like that scene. Uh, I especially like how, during Toshiie's speech, you can see Katsuie, like, envisioning, like, a young Toshiie sitting in front of him. But, like, you don't see that when you're, uh, seeing that cutscene from Toshiie's perspective. It just shows him outside. And it's nice we have a little section with, uh, Oichi at the end. So we actually see them, like, you know, interact more. Uh, fifth weapon, defeat many enemies and claim the garrisons before your allies' defects. Uh, spoilers game. Translates to, within 10 minutes and before any allies' defect, defeat 300 enemies and capture all of the eastern garrisons. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm still using Matsu as a bodyguard, so uh... Let's go beat up your husband! <laughs> the boy and the monkey must learn the weight that is on their shoulders. If it takes my death to do it, then so be it. Yasumasa is leading the advance from the east. But Morimasa is struggling to hold the central garrison. Hetsuye, please lead the defense of our main camp to me. Look out! Here I come! Look out! Here I come! Don't let up, men! Once we take that central garrison, this battle's as good as ours! The devil Shibata's army will never let you pass! Another excuse for a warrior. Unless someone on the fact, of course. breaks before no man! Advance! This battle, it will be a momentous occasion for the future of this land. Both for the monkey and for myself. Look out! Here I come! Go forth and seize all of the eastern garrisons. Is this all they are capable of? I hope the guys in the center gar central garrison don't die to uh, all the peons flooding in. Such prowess combat. Look out! Here I come! The explosions increases his damage output so much. The enemy's forces are light here. We must take advantage of this weakness. Weakness? Oh no, my friend. That's called flexibility. I have a plan for everything. 
Oh, this is going to be all too easy. Mitsunari, seize that garrison. I shall be your opponent. We should take this here pretty early. I am proud to witness you in battle. Or maybe he's already serving the Toyotomi by this point. I have no idea. Katsuhie, please take care out there. You are hopeless to think that you can defeat me. Mitsunari just says nothing to him. Mitsunari has zero investment in this battle. Enjoy your victory today. It shall be your last. I mean, you're right, but still lost. Oh wow, the guys in the center are actually pushing out from the central garrison. Yeah, I guess they're doing fine. I much prefer that line from Oichi as opposed to Lord Takamasa, you're my hero, over and over again. Just in case, like, they defect or something after I take this last garrison, I'm gonna make a save. I don't remember exactly how this battle plays out. pretty painless to get is this all they are capable of Well, at least he was nice about it. Yourself, monkey. Come, we have the advantage. They are few in number. Show them the ferocity of the devil Shibata's hellish army. I like how it said undefeated the seven spears of Shizu Katake, but like this is the battle of Shizu Katake. They shouldn't have that title yet. But what about me? Know that if you die for your age. Then you will be betraying one who had nothing but respect for you. Okay. Another excuse for a war. Katsuie, please take care out there.
the time comes for all Toshiye, when they must prove themselves worthy to one they trust. Katsuie, come. I do like Oichi commanding the charge. Oichi is like, let's go! That dodge roll. Good on you, Toshi X. And there goes your back. You're never walking again. Such prowess to combat. Oh, he just cheers. Your axe dealt a heavy blow today, old man. Oh, he just gets off on the fact that Katsuya has to kill someone he loves. Well, damn it, you're making me turn around now. So you've got me surrounded. Ah, oh, I never expected to get out of this alive anyway. I won't let you interfere with my husband's plans. Is this all you're The return of the boulder, JPEGs. Try that again. This is my battle. My age is over, and it is my time to die. You must find your own cause worth dying for. You really are a stubborn old fool, aren't you? <laughs> I barely have any actual lines. Yeah, they just outright copy and pasted, uh... Kanetsugu's, like, boulder JPEG spamming for... for Katsuye for his Matsumuso. I actually think it's better for Katsuye, though. So at least there's that. Give me a... give me a second here. These two are really annoying to fight. They both attack so damn fast. Another excuse for a warrior. Katsuie, please. I don't think Nene ever tried to market herself as a warrior.
Wow, recovered from that nicely. And it exploded. Lord Shibata, I will make sure your vision is not forgotten. Another excuse for a warrior. My lord, reinforcements for the Hashiba army are approaching. I knew they would. But I have not the strength to hold them out. I thank you all for your unwavering dedication to my cause. I must go. I have preparations to make. I have done my duty as a warrior. My time is now done. I like these special victory ends. Like that only happened with the uh, with Extreme Legends. Oh wow, I almost discarded the <laughs> the freaking the epoch makers. Uh, wouldn't want to do that, would I? Because I mean, look at that. Attack 20, attack 19, attack 16. Man, that's that's solid. Life is good, the Muso charge. That's a really, really good weapon. It would be really stupid of me to discard that. But I won't. Don't look away. My death is my gift to you. See for yourself. Understand the burden that this old man has borne. I get it! I understand! You're too strong! I'm no match for you! No match at all! That's why I need you! I'm nothing without you! Please, Katsuye! Oh, my boy, you don't need anything from me anymore. Kazuye! This is your time. Use it well. And never forget the weight of the responsibility on your shoulders. My lord, this will be the age of our sons, the times we shared together. <laughs> you couldn't see it, but Oichi's smoldering quartz was next to him in that cutscene. Trust me. Also, yeah, I do like him uh, wielding his spear one final time in that last cutscene. Nice little callback to the original. And now on to his dream stage. I am the Devil Shibata. Bit of an awkward sounding title, Striker of Fear. In the year 1582, Katsuye Shibata was sent by his lord Nobunaga Oda to seize the northern territories controlled by the Uesugi. Just as he was about to launch an offensive, however, Katsuye received word that Mitsuhide Akechi was planning a rebellion. Having dispatched forces to all corners of the land, Nobunaga's own defenses were thin. Realizing that his lord was in mortal danger, Katsuie abandoned the front lines. Alone, he flew across the land, making for Honnoji.
Once in a lifetime, we have a chance to fight, to change history. Katsuie's dream, incident at Honnoji. I will decide when this age is at an end. I not only had to defeat Mitsuhide to win, but I also had to get Nobunaga to the escape point. I was just Nobunaga, No, and Ranmaru. And, you know, Katsuye, obviously. And Mitsuhide and a bunch of generics. Yeah, apparently there's a Shibata generic here. Uh, Katsusada Shibata. Mitsuhide, you have made life interesting. You have made death interesting. My lord, error. My own error is in mortal danger. My lord and the dread of Mitsuhide. Together they are great, but his enemy is not to be This place, the capital, the entire land. You are some use to me. This is not your place. I wish to test myself against Lord Nobunaga to see if I am worthy. I have no need for uninvited guests. Look out! Here I come! I must hurry to my lord. There's so many effects going off when you do a Matt Smusso with Katsuri. Yeah, I can't even see where he's going. If this age is to end tonight, then I deserve an invitation as much as anyone. Alright, let's rescue the pretty boy. I know you wish to die beside our lord, but today is not the day. Lord Katsuye! Look out! Here I come! Look out! Here I come! Kondoji in flames. I hope this is not a portent of greater evil. How is Mitsuhide treating you now, my boy? Lord Katsuie. I apologize for repaying your kindness with such ingratitude. I understand. You must be faithful to your new man now. This battle will be the true test of Mitsuhide's qualities as a leader. I spend a while making circles around the Shibata generic just to hear his line. Another excuse for a warrior. Hmm. Also, Katsuhide, I understand, and then immediately just Max Musos him into the ground. Goodbye, Onimusha series. Another excuse for a warrior. We shall all follow your example. Is this all they are capable of? Back to him. 
Katsuhi is just like, don't worry, we are going to die. I'm just getting you closer to him. Exceptional warrior. Damn it, now you tell me there's missions to take over strongholds. My destiny be impeded by such irritating obstruction. Because I left one like way back at the beginning. And maybe I'll come back to that one. Ah, no, I probably have time to go and get it. My horse is fast. Hard cut to know I got dying. Is this all they are capable of? Didn't that complete the mission? It does say to claim, though. Maybe they have to respawn. Yeah, you do have to wait for them to respawn. How odd. I don't think anything else requires you to do that. Nobunaga just surrounded. This ought to hurt. Everyone except Magawiki, so if you had any lines with them, say them now. Anyone in here with Nobunaga? Ah, there is a guy. We shall all follow your example. I shall be your opponent. Another excuse for a warrior. I'm speechless. Another excuse for a warrior. It appears you are some use to me. So Fate is still in need of Nobunaga after all. Another excuse for a warrior. We shall all follow your example. Is this all you are capable of? The scales of history have tilted once more. My only desire is to test myself against Lord Nobunaga. Come, Mitsuhide. Prove to me that you are a worthy successor to my lord. Okay, so nothing to say to Magawichi. That's that feels like a missed opportunity because I know his voice actor definitely came back for this. Another excuse for a warrior. Hmm. An exceptional warrior. What? That's it? But I'm still so young and handsome. Of how he dies with that. But I take it you have seen enough of this insurrection by now. It has provided a certain amusement. Then, my lord, allow me to escort you to see. <laughs> Shall not escape this time. Forward. <laughs> so 
soldiers. Take pride that you are part of history here today. Men of Akechi, know that at my feet is where you will draw your final breath. It's a real, it's essentially one man armies at Hellenology. Close to a thousand kills here. Is this all they are capable of? Look out! Here I come! Rude. Exceptional warrior. Ron Moro has like two special lines for being saved by Katsuya here. Like one for the mission and one for, I guess, if you just I'm save him again afterwards. I've got a long way to go. Uh, how meddlesome. I'm gonna save no one. That was fine. Probably. I don't know what she's even stuck on. One guy. Tsuhide is kind of full of it here, like, he keeps saying, like, Katsuhide doesn't belong here, which, in a sense, is correct, but he is another officer, been around since the beginning. Get him with the grab. Come on. There we go. It's soon a drop. My lady, I know as well as you do that you relish such situations. As indeed does my lord. We will survive. There's also a second line for no. Still incomplete. Another excuse for a warrior. It appears you are of some use to me. Is this all they are capable of? Ah! 
Should be able to get a thousand kills here. You have earned my praise, warrior. Gee, thanks. That could not have been a more generic line. Like that's no one I go step up from. Hmm. Suppose you are of some use to me. What do we even work for this guy? Can't we need to fit right now? My lord is safe. The land needs him still. History has chosen Nobunaga. For now, but the time will come when he and I will weaken and die. And a new era will begin. Such is the way of things. The day comes for us all to return to dust. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to comment on Katsuye's outfit. It's it's not much of a change from his regular one. It's just more blue, I guess. And yeah, Mitsuhide just talking even though we died somehow. <laughs> It'd have been better if Ranmaru gave the praise. Possibly, I have no idea what Ranmaru's like, generic line would have been. If anything would have been better than what Nobunaga gave us. Alright, so who do I play as next? Ina? Okay. Oichi, Oichi again. Female next. Gracia, okay. No. Well, everyone's pit girls, but Oichi has the highest right now. Ina and not use melee as a challenge yet. No. Another for Oichi, Gracia, Kinchen. Still voting for all females. Ina, Ina, Gracia. Ina again. I think Ina's winning out here. Teen with a cup and ball, Ina. I don't think Oichi's a teen anymore. If you stopped being a teen in Samurai Warriors 1, or after Samurai Warriors 1. No, Oichi. Gonna need to recount. Yeah, it looks like Ina won out. Aya. Fat man, I assume that's Iyasu. <laughs> I do like you saying Gracia's name, like Gracias. Yeah, it was, it's looking like Ina's won. Maybe next time we'll do Luigi. I think we have uh, been avoiding most of the female characters, haven't we? See, how, many, how many have you done so far? We've done Nene and Ginchio. How many even are there? We still have Oichi, we still have No. We're gonna do Ina next. And then Zagracia. And I guess there's also Okuni. But I'll probably just have a stream where I do a bunch of free mode stages with Radmaru and Okuni. To make up for them not having a story mode. That'll be the last thing I do with this. 
Yeah, I, I'm just now realizing going through this, there's like really not many female characters. And one of them doesn't even have a story mode, though I guess one of the males also doesn't. Although, like, that's only technically, you know? <laughs> Alright, well, that's it for this stream, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.